All right, for my misfit of the week, let's see how well this works out, Steve. Let's see how this goes. I'm taking the Wisconsin versus Michigan State. Jim Leonard showed that he can be a pretty decent coach in this league. We saw him at defensive coordinator for a few seasons. He's stepping up as interim coach. We talked about possible replacements for Wisconsin. He took care of Northwestern. Now, granted, this is Northwestern we're talking about, who we had some thoughts that they might be good when they played overseas at the beginning of the year. Well, they played Nebraska, and then there's a whole other story there. Northwestern is still Northwestern. Wisconsin, though, did show some signs of actually some of some pretty good football. They're three and three. Jim Leonard has the opportunity to get this team to a winning record against Michigan State, who is absolutely struggling. Michigan State has been a, a rough team, to say the least. It has been really hard for Mel Tucker. Did you hear what I said there? Uh, to make sure that they, uh, yeah, I said Mel Tucker. Michigan State has really had a, just a rough season. Thorne has been exactly what that has been in this in the Spartans back. I mean, without question, his last name is really working for him. Nine touchdowns, seven interceptions. They talked in the offseason how great this running defense or running offense was going to be with Berger. And they were just they thought this Michigan State running was going to be great. Well, they're only averaging 107 yards per game. It's been not where it needs to be. As much as I really want to have Michigan State take a step forward in the right direction, because they have they were fun in, in years past. We really I mean, there's fun to watch this Michigan State team. When Michigan State's good, when that rivalry between Michigan and Michigan State and and all that good stuff happening in the Big Ten, it's awesome. It's just not happening this year. I see Michigan State falling to two and five, and I see Wisconsin being a winning record at four and three, two games from a bowl. And it'll make you wonder if Jim Leonard will be able to hold that spot. They decide to go with him. I, I keep, I'm holding it. I'm holding on to that. If Leonard can take Wisconsin to a bowl, he he loses that interim tag. Wisconsin's a seven point favorite. I think they cover with the, with the points. Okay, I, I do want to make a little wager. I'm glad you picked this game as your misfit. Okay, we have been getting some interesting pushback and feedback on a segment that we did about. Mel Tucker at Michigan State and whether he's a a mercenary or a paper tiger or a paper Spartan, I guess you would have to say. I want to challenge all of those Michigan State fans that have been giving us grief because he was referred to as Mel Turner <laughs> and not Mel Tucker. Okay. If Michigan State loses, as I believe you and I both agree is going to happen. Yeah. They have to, in any social media post or any reply to anything we do, they have to call him Mel Turner the rest of the year. I think it's only fair. Yeah. Right. But if Michigan state finds a way to cheat, I mean, uh, beat Wisconsin this week, I will come on next week with a big smile on my face and I will look into the camera and I will lie and talk about what an underrated football team Michigan State is. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I feel like even if I didn't accept the bet, we're taking it anyways. So I think the coolest part, the coolest stat uh, from this entire game, I know it's absolutely wild, but Peyton Thorne's passing yard so far this season, 1,234 yards. One, two, three, four. And that's how simple that Misfits segment is out of the way just as quick as that.